And the best part is sprays and workouts. Oh, yay, we're going to start with some sprays. Yes. And, and then what's going to happen? Into words. Awesome. I'm ready. Are, Are you, you ready? We ready? Let's go. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Hey. I got a feeling that I can't explain. I got a crazy me I can't contain. There is freedom running through my veins. Let's go. Cause your love has broken every chain. Welcome back to Impact Sunday. Hello everybody, great to be with you again on this Sunday. Oh, I love Sprinkle and Sparkle. They just made my day. Oh, they are such fun. Yeah, I think it goes with their name, Sprinkle and Sparkle. They, they just bring joy. Fun. Mm, that's good. Well, are you ready for today? I am. Are you? I'm ready and I'm excited. Okay. I'm We're going to play well. a 
game. We're going to start with the game straight away. Straight away. Let's okay, go let's for a go. Game. All let's right. go. What game are we going to play today? I think we should play I Spy. Okay, because I like I Spy. A lot of the children play I Spy at home, don't they? And you can and actually find the things in your house. So you're going to look around your room, wherever you are. Maybe they're in the lounge, maybe they're in the kitchen, maybe they're even outside. So what you're going to do is we're going to find some items with the letter that we're saying. Okay, that's okay. a good idea. So what is the first letter we're starting with, Pastor Michelle? We are looking for something with a T. Something with a T. A letter T. So something look around. that's around them with the letter T. I've got something. What? Except I don't, I can't see it unless I take my tackies off. But I've got a toe. Oh, that's a good one, Delis. You know what I thought of? No, what did you think of? The television. Oh, the television. Mm. And most people have got a television. If mm. they're not watching it, it's in their home. Exactly. Anyway. What did you find at home? Type down below comments and Let tell us, us know. what with the letter T did you find? Exactly. Ooh. Right. So, shall we do another one? What letter are we going to pick, Dillis? What about the letter M? <gasps> what oh. do you think? M. Can you find something with an M? Do we have munchkins around? No, I don't know. What is a munch munchkin? Something really small, isn't it? Okay. Um, I don't know. We don't have anything small around here. No. Um, an M. M, uh, M. <gasps> Maybe there's a mouse in your house. Yeah, but they're not easy to find. That's Aww. the problem. Okay. What did you find at home? That Let us know. With an M? Type it on the bottom. Tell us what started with the M. Did you think of anything with an M? Mouth. Your mouth. I thought you were talking, looking at your teeth. I was thinking, oh, yo, yo, aren't you delicious? Mouth. A mouth. Oh, I even have one of those. Okay. Good. Are we so ready? did you get an M? Right. What next? What's <gasps> the next letter? We are looking for the letter S. 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 Yes, yes. Maybe they have sugar in the kitchen that they can see. Yes, maybe they even got sugar there where their teacup is and where they're having crack coffee this morning or breakfast. What else could they maybe find in the lounge yes, with an S? Yes, yes, <gasps> yes. A sofa. Sofa? That's another A word. A sock? A sock, yeah. Let us know what you found. Type it on the bottom. Let us know what you found. I'm sure they found some really cool things. That was fun. Did you enjoy playing that with us? Mm. Give us a thumbs up if you love I Spy. Well, well Delicia, wh what is that? What? what is that, that looks so oh, cool. Do you want to grab it? That's interesting. Do you want to grab it and see what look. it looks? Oh. Wow, and it's got a big tag on it. it what does has. the tag say? <gasps> Treasure. Should we show them? For Impact Children. How many of you want to open this? Because I, I, I want to open I it. I do. I want to see what's inside. It's not got a pretty bow. So I'll, I'll take the bow. Take the bow. So I pull. Do you have to undo that? Can we just, just pull it off? Pull it off. Pull it off. Will it come off if we just pull it? There we go. There we go. Okay. What's what inside? What is this? I wonder. <gasps> oh. oh this looks we show really them? cool. Should we, show we look first? I don't think they want to see. Do you want to see? You want to you see? You better, see? better let us know. Do you want to see? If you want to see. Ooh. Look at that this. That is so cool. What is this? <gasps> wow. It's, it's a treasure map. It's a treasure to map. To go on a treasure trail. Kids, are you ready to go on a treasure trail? Are we going to get to do that? Are we going to go on the treasure um, trail? Shall we go on a treasure shall trail? Shall we go on a treasure trail? Would you like to do that with us? So. I think so. Give but us a thumbs up. Show us. Delis. Yeah. Uh, we, we're not really dressed for a treasure trail. Uh, no, I suppose yeah. not. I suppose we need to look a little bit more I think we adventurous need to look a little and bit more adventurous. treasure trail like. Yes. That kind of a thing. Okay, so, so are you getting ready to go with us on a treasure trail? Get ready. We're going to get ready as well. Let's, Let's go. go. Wow. Oh. Look at this. We're all set to go. I'm excited. Are you excited? We're, re we're, we're ready. I think we're, we're ready. ready. Do we look like we're ready to go on a treasure trail? Are you coming with us? Yeah. Okay. So, so, shall we look at where we're going first? I think we need to. Just um, have a look it at says the map. start. Start. Okay. So, but look, there's a, there's a verse there. <gasps> it says Matthew 6, Six verse 21. 21. What do you okay. think that says? What does that say? I wonder what that Does anybody know what that verse says? Mm. Do you know? I know. Okay, tell tell the children then. It says, for where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. Will be also. Okay, so that ties in with the fact that we're going to go and find some treasure. We're going to find some treasure. Okay, so shall so we memorize that scripture together? I think that's a good idea. Before we go. We've got some emojis. Have we got are, emojis we've got some for emojis them to remember, to remember. This one. Okay, so should they say it with us first? Let's say it together. And yeah. then we can start to say the verse. All right. All right, are we ready? We're ready. Okay, one, two, three. 
for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew 6 verse 21. Okay, so okay. now we're going to stand to our feet, make sure right, they're all standing. Deep breath. And you're going to see little pictures come up. So as you see the pictures, it's going to remind you of our scripture. So for the word for, there's a number four. four. Where your treasure, there's a treasure box. Okay. Is there your heart? There's a picture of a heart. And will be also. So there's just okay. a few little pictures we're placing inside some of the words. And see if they can say the whole thing with say those the few whole pictures. Thing. All together. Okay. Are, Are you ready? ready? Okay. Are you ready at home? Are you ready? All right. Here we go. One, two, three. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew 6 verse 21. Can they say it once more? Once more. I just think we like to see the emojis like as well. The emojis are very okay, pretty. Okay, good. Let's do that. Are you ready? One, two, three. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew 6 verse 21. That was so much fun. And that's such a nice verse because it ties in so well with this treasure map. So We're going on a treasure trail. I'm going to fold our map up. Okay. I got a bag. So shall we grab... So, so can we just check where we're going first? Oh, yes. No good folding it up if we don't know where we're going. So Let's glad you're with me and I'm not going okay, on my own. Okay, we shouldn't get lost between All right. the two of us. Let's okay, have a look. so that's where we're starting now. We are okay, moving to... And there we... That's where we've got to be. Okay. Right. Shall right. we Let's grab go. our bag and let's get let's going? Let's get going. Got okay, bag. I got my bag. All right. Okay. I'll pack this away. Well... Let's pack and go at the same Let's time. Let's pack and Let's go, go at the same time. Okay. So, I'm so excited. We are on a journey. Let's go to the street to trail. I'm so excited oh. to see what we're going to find out. Oh! oh. Should we get Salo? I think let's go Salo. Okay, let's go Salo. Do you think we should Salo? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. You look like you're very busy. Yes. Okay, tell us who you are. I'm Jack the Explorer. Oh, Jack the Explorer! So cool. That sounds really exciting. I'm so excited to Everyone. find out more about Jack the Explorer. Say hello to Jack the Explorer. Tell me, or tell us, all of us, what have you been doing? What are you doing out here? Well, I study creation, and there are so many treasures God has made in creation. Do you know what God created first? No. Tell us. Tell us. When God set the foundation of earth, the angels were already there watching. Wow. The angels were created first. And when they saw his abilities create many different things, they sang together and shouted for joy, wow. giving glory to God. That's that so awesome. beautiful. Awesome. So you've been studying that, have you? Yes. Okay, great. Jack, you've got such a big amount of information and knowledge. Would you share some of that knowledge with us? Absolutely. Oh, oh we'd so really appreciate that. And seeing how you're talking about all this and about creation and that, are we going to have a look at what God created? Can we do that? Yes. Because I know that in the book of Genesis, it tells us about God's creation. Mm -hmm. And if we go right at the beginning, we learn that on day one, God created the heavens mm -hmm. out there in the space as well. And he created the earth also. So it's very exciting. And that's where we actually got the light mm. as when, when the earth was created. So he created day and night. Now, I want to show you something that shows us what God did when he created day and night. Is that okay? Can we do that? Yes. Is it in our bag? in your bag, oh, Pastor oh. Michelle. Come and let's put it on the over here and let's what have a look What do you want? Oh. Not, not that one? Not that one. <laughs> the, the pen. Oh. That's correct. We need a pen. Oh. And what I did before we left is I took the pen and I drew a circle with our pen. Okay? And then you need to put some water uh, in uh, there for us. I brought water. Okay, put some water in there for us. Oh. A lot, a little bit. Um, quite a bit, quite a bit. 
Awesome. I put right, water. So you can see that is dark there. Okay. Yes. So then we're going to get a pipe cleaner. <gasps> Will I you give us the I pipe cleaner? Okay. So you've got a piece. Okay. Make it wet for us, oh, please. Make it wet. Can I lick it? it? No, no, no. Oh, no. Don't lick it. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea if she licks it. Eh? Just no. put it in the water. Okay. There we go. Don't squeeze out too much water. We need some water in there. Okay. Yeah. Now stick it through the hole. Because, you see what happened on day one? God separated the darkness from the light. Yeah. And that's what this shows and illustrates to us how God separated the darkness from the light. You yeah. see the darkness slowly slides away. So you see how then on day one wow. that God separated the darkness from the light. Wow, isn't that interesting, Jack? That's amazing. And then on day two, God created the sky, mm -hmm. okay, and the atmosphere outside as well. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. I have an interesting fact for you. Oh, do tell us. Yes, I'm interested to hear. Did you know that it takes about two minutes for a raindrop to fall and hit the earth? Wow. I never thought about I that, did you? I didn't even think about that's that. That's interesting. Thank you. That's really cool. Wow. Well, we've done day one, we've done day two. Uh, do you know what happened on day three? God created the dry land. Now, the earth was divided between the dry land and the water. And on this day, he also created beautiful plants, kind of like what's all around us. Big ones and small ones. Oh, that must have been lovely to see all the different kinds of plants. Can you imagine the pretty flowers? And so everything? pretty. Yeah. Lovely. Pastor Michelle. Did you know that the tallest plant is a redwood tree? <gasps> and it can grow to be 350 feet tall. Wow. Whoa, that's that like really, really tall. tall. Whoa, that was really almost tall. like no end to that, eh? That's cool and exciting. Whoa, that is really yeah. interesting. And I also have something interesting for you to see. <gasps> oh, this looks very interesting. Let me take this out the way. Yeah, let's move yes. that one out the way. Okay. So we have two fruits and the LED light. Wow, oh, look at you, that. you're yeah. telling me that the fruit is making the light shine? Yes. That's really, really clever. That is really cool. So when I eat the fruit, I can light up too. <laughs> <laughs> because that's know. really nice. Don't know, Auntie Dillis, that we can try. I don't know. Wow, Jack, that is so cool. Isn't Jack the Explorer so interesting? He's got such amazing information to share with us. He has, that's really interesting, thank you. Wow, mm. thank you for sharing that with us. So, and did you know that even there was day four? On day four? There was a day four. God created the stars, the sun, and the moon. The sun gives us light during the day, and the moon reflects off the sun at night. Oh, that's, that, that's how it works. Yeah. Oh, yes. Now, I remember we carried something else in our bag oh, there oh, to show oh. everybody um. how the light works from the sun to the moon to the earth. So we've got some things there. There's something down here. Would you mind to pick that one up for us, Jack? Yes. What is that? That's a globe of the earth. Okay. We need a torch. We need a torch because the torch is going to represent the sun. And we have a mirror. Okay. So what happens is the sun reflects onto the moon. There we go. There we go. And then the I'm moon aiming it. shines onto the earth. And that's how we wow. see the light from the moon when we are on the earth. And did you know, I also learned an interesting fact. I learned that it's only 7% of the light that goes from the moon to the earth. Really? Wow. Mm. That's and that's so why cool. we see different sizes of the moon is because when it moves, that we actually see only part of it. Wow. That's amazing. That is so cool. Delicia, what happened in day five? On day five, God made the fish and all the water creatures. And there's some funny, strange looking creatures in the water, aren't there? And he made the birds and the bugs as wow. well. Wow. Auntie Delicia, I have another interesting fact for you. Oh, I just love all these facts. You'll yeah. tell us, Jack. This is really interesting. Did you know that 40% of all bugs are beetles? There are so many treasures in God's creation. There are. There are. And the fact that there's so many beetles. And, you know, I think sometimes we forget to see how many treasures there actually are out in creation. That is just an amazing treasure. Wow. Look at the birdie sitting on Jack's shoulder. Oh. God's oh, creation is too. incredible, isn't it? Listen, I hear the birds singing. Oh. Did you hear them singing? I hear them singing.
<gasps> How about we stop for a second? Look around us all, not just passing it by. See what God has created. God Almighty created it all. This is all about creation. Waking up realizing how blessed I am to be alive. Oh, oh. I'm grace to bring so beautiful sunshine. I'm amazed by the treasure in creation better than my imagination. Then I remember who made it all. You look at me, look at them. We are God's creation, all perfect in His eyes. A rainbow nation. See the trees, see the bees, hear the birds singing la 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 la. And that's the beauty of creation. So beautiful. Oh, Aren't they beautiful? I love that song. Amazing. It just shows you how great creation is mm. and what a treasure it is that God has given us. But now on day six, we know that God made all the animals mm -hmm. that live on the dry land wow. and he made mm. man. Oh, that oh very, God. very special creation. Yeah. And God told man to take care of all of creation, all of the animals. And when God's creation was complete, God said, it is very good. Wow, that is just so incredibly interesting. You know, answer to this year, that brings me to one more fact. Wow, well, Jack's got so many amazing I'd love facts. To facts. If you'd like to hear another fact from Jack, give us a thumbs up, okay? Did you know that there are 8.7 million species of animals and most of them haven't even been identified? Wow. Wow, that is amazing. So many animals. Eight and, point so seven. and they haven't identified them all. Wow. And did you know the scientists say it could take a thousand years to do it? Oh, a thousand years still to identify them. And God did that in just seven days. Wow. That is amazing. That is really wow. cool fact. Awesome. Sure, thank you so much, Jack the Explorer. We've really enjoyed all of your um, information that you've shared with us. Thank you very Amazing. much. Some very interesting facts. Yes. Thank you. We've got another thing in the bag, Delicia, that I remembered you, you packed with. Okay, yes, but now what happened after God created all that on the seventh day? Do you know what? God rested on the seventh day. And that really showed us that God had set an example for us that it's important for, and for us to, as creation, to rest as well. Ah, so we can always important. be busy, but mm -hmm. rest. We need to take time to rest. Can I pull that you last can, item out? I'm so excited for this one. <gasps> you want to see what's in the okay. bag? <laughs> this is my book. It's a book. It's a book. Do you believe me that this is a book? Do you believe me that this is a book, children? Hmm. If you do, give me a thumbs up. If you're not too sure, you can give us a yeah. thumbs down. But this is my special creation book. Mm. It reminds me of all the things that happened at creation. First of all, we know that there was the darkness. Remember, we spoke about the darkness. And then God separated the darkness 
from the light and we ended up with light. Wow. Okay. And then we know God made many other things. So we're going to have a look at some of the different things that God did. Remember God made the night sky and he made the day. And we know that God put stars in the sky wow. as well. And then we also learn, do you remember what else we learned? Learn we about made plants. plants and <gasps> flowers and all That's those pretty so things. Pretty. Like all those around us. God made all those beautiful things. And then God made, remember what I said? God made all the creatures Look, there's little fish. that swim in the sea. Wow. All the weird ones, the funny ones, <laughs> and the nice ones. He made all of those different sea creatures and water creatures. And then we know God made all the animals. There's a giraffe. Look, Jack, there's a giraffe. And an elephant. And an elephant. And a tiny little, you can't see there, but it's a tiny, teeny, weeny little tortoise. And God made all these things just in six days. Isn't and then that he rested. Isn't that amazing what God did? The treasures hmm. of creation that he has given us. Wow. Well, I have just enjoyed today. Our first treasure trail is really what we have found, creation. We've come across so many interesting things. Yes. We've learned so much interesting facts. We have. And we need to take time to stop, look, and appreciate everything that God has really given us. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. So before we go, I want you just to look around and think of one thing that you can really appreciate that God has given in creation. What is that one thing? Type idea. it down. Maybe it's the sky. Maybe it's the rain. Maybe it's the people that you're surrounded with. Maybe it's the food you're eating. What is it that you are excited about creation? I think that's a really good idea because we need to take time to stop mm. and see what God has made. Amen. Shall we pray, Dallas? Are you going to pray for us? Yes, we can yes. do that. Let's pray together. Lord, we just thank you today that we can stop and think about your creation, the amazing creation that you've made, that wonderful treasure that you've given us and everything around us. Lord, help us not to get too busy that we forget to stop and appreciate everything you've made. And we just thank you for that now, Lord, and we just pray your blessing over this week for us and Help us to remember you and all that you have done for us. And we just thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, Jack the Explorer, we hope we get to cross paths again with you somewhere Absolutely. along our way. Absolutely. Look forward to that. That's going to be awesome. That's going to be awesome. Have an amazing Sunday. Oh, shall, we, shall we get ready to go for our next treasure trail? I think we do. I think we're going to go and we're going to start to look on the map and see where we're heading next. Yes. Bye, Jack. Bye. Bye. Great to that meet was so you. awesome well, that to was meet really Jack. Amazing. Man, I Bye, everyone. All those facts was just incredible.